Today we're going to be taking a look at Thriftcart's Category Sales Report. So when you go to your point of sale reports and access the Category Sales Report, you're going to get prompted to select your store location and then a date range. So I'm going to go ahead and select the shop on Atlantic. And I'm going to set my date range as the entire month of October. Once you've set your date range, you'll then go ahead and select a category. This report is going to allow you to view sales information for specific categories. So I'll go ahead and select our furniture category. And then there's also some additional filters on this report. You can filter by item quantity. You can hide certain tables and parts of this uh, report. You can also search for specific items, show purchases that are only related to e-commerce sales, show daily notes on this report, show pictures, and a simple aggregated report as well. So a bunch of different filter options. But for now, we're just gonna have our store and the date range. I'll go ahead and click generate report. And once you generate this report, you'll see that the first table view that you get is just uh, every day of sales in this category for the store location. So we can see over the month of October, each day that had zero sales in this category, and then each day where we had sales in our furniture category. So that'll be the fourth, the 12th, the 24th, and the 30th. And it'll give us a total of all of our sales in this specific category. And we'll also see that broken up by donated uh, donated merchandise and purchase merchandise. Next section here is going to show you all the receipt line items for this category. So we can see the date, the receipt, the item ID and name, a customer ID if there's a customer attached to this transaction. So in this case we have a couple where the customer was attached and a couple where the there was no customer attached. We also see the quantity of items sold on this transaction, the purchase price, unit price and unit price before any discounts. And that's also going to give us some nice averages and information that we can take a look at here. So we can see our mean, our average price sold. We can see our median price point that this uh, category was sold at. We can also see our mode price points or our most frequently occurring price point, our minimum price point that this category was sold at, and then also our maximum price point that this category was sold at. And we can see a total count of how many items were sold uh, within this category. It's also going to group all of the items sold in this category by item. So we can see here for the dining room set, we sold one of these. And then we also sold our item desk, but we sold four of those. And then finally, it's going to give you all of the cashiers who have sold this category how many items they've sold, the total purchase price of items they've sold, unit price, and unit price before any discounts. If you have any questions on the category sales report, please reach out.